When we talk about well-being at work, I think that is still a developing area of understanding that, that New Zealand businesses have still got a lot of work to do. Uh, we have to stop seeing our people as variables that need to be controlled and start seeing them as a the solution to all of our problems. And what I mean by that is if we give them a framework within which they can operate, you know, guardrails if you like, then they have the training, they have the competency, uh, we give them the tools that they can go out and solve problems that they encounter at the coalface that we only imagine sitting in our offices. You need to look at the work itself, you need to look at the tasks that have been performed, the environment that people are working with and, and the teams and the leaders and then you can actually design the work so that it's actually much better work by involving your people in those different aspects to thinking about how could we do this work differently. And I think if you're prepared to do that, your people respond accordingly, you end up with a better culture and people thriving in the workplace. I think it's understanding people's roles, understanding the challenges that they face and particularly the roadblocks to enabling them to bring their best self to work. Having done that, then actually providing the support and the resources to actually support them and make that happen. When it comes to thinking about the well-being of my people, it's really around engaging with them effectively, understanding them. They're people, at the end of the day you're dealing with people and so even if you've got a large workforce, it's, it's actually understanding the key drivers of what makes people feel like they're valued they're trusted, that they can rely on a good leadership team to provide what they need to provide. I think about it from a psychological safety perspective. Can you actually hear the voices from below? And I use those words because that's right at the heart of adaptive organisations. Hearing those voices means that leaders must pause, listen, and not feel the need to respond in the moment, actually reflect on what's being said.